Hey everyone, I'm Elsie Gamer, and welcome back to Remote Life. In the previous video, we managed to get the rocket launcher to its destination. And now, I need to unlock the missile. And now to fire it. Dear John, well done. The mission is on it. The missile's on its way. It shall reach and destroy the center of the hive shortly. We have saved our planet. Thank you for all you've, your efforts. You are a great pilot, and I thank you. Will and I think you will receive a very special medal of honor. I know that you are thinking about Sarah Jane. Marina, since practically the war is over, I can unofficially allow you, at your own risk, to attempt the, her rescue. Our scanners have detected a large enemy close to her, last known coordinates. You don't have to have a lot of time. Take the Panther. Class ship, it's the best jet for this last mission. Take care, my friend. Best regards, and God bless you. Commander Robert. Crashed. I'm trying to stay away from this thing's maw. Okay, that's another one down. Quick. See it charging. <laughs> These things. Out of here. Some sort of moth creature? Sarah is here with me. We both are safe. But an enemy came through the portal with us. Something strange is going on here. Don't like 
like this. The alien has opened an unknown portal. My commands are not responding anymore. Hi. Hi. Okay. Uh huh. Well, that's was interesting. In short credit screen too. Well, with that being the final mission and everything, I think we'll take a look at the bonuses now. We have the Panther class. Required rank, Colonel. Skills needed, average, speed, medium. For missions with any obstacles, this ship can be selected. The main menu after each completed mission. The Typhoon class. Required rank, General. Skills needed, experienced. Speed, high for missions without many obstacles. This ship can be selected in the main menu or after each completed mission. Hmm. And now we have a enemy art gallery. Or just a art gallery in general. Uh, designs on these things weren't half bad. There's the bouncing blob. Mm-hmm. I don't remember seeing that one. Or that one. Unless it was just background design. It's a mushroom man. The game over screen. Space Spider. The second to final boss. I was expecting that to be more of a main problem than what it was. One of our escort ships. It's a tank. Mm-hmm. The art design on this wasn't bad. The music was actually very good. The only thing I did not care for was the AI generated voices. They didn't sound very off. It was very comical, yes, but for some reason I it just didn't feel right. Yeah, I think we came across one of those once.
There's the mothership. Another blob with a giant mouth. Another support vehicle. Background environment. Final boss. Which I was expecting to have more than one phase. That was a little disappointing. And some... spray paint art. Okay, cool. Now for the final... unlocked... unlockable, which is customizing... my own monster s snake thing and playing as an enemy unit. Okay... How far... how many of these? Okay. So I don't have many to choose from. Hmm... Oh, so many different combinations. Oh, so many different things to choose from. I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay, that's the hive body. Hello. Explosive body. this one, since it's one I haven't seen before in the game. Okay, normal head. Nye. Hmm, that one's creative. I'll just go with this one. Good guys, or the cute earthlings, for the entire game, and then for one final mission, you get to play as the invaders, the aliens. Anything else around here? Nope, don't get shot. of this mess. Yeah. Huh. Ooh, nope. And the ship goes from whatever angle the cannon's pointing. Done. 
there's no uh, gauge here saying when I've reached the end of the level. There goes one life. Alright. And that was the, uh... Custom mate... Your own, uh, enemy unit. Thing. So I think I'm gonna leave it here for now, and I'll see you guys next time when we, uh... Play the next game. So until then, see you guys.